let's say you have tried these oral therapies on raza and he has failed cinamet levodopa he has failed baclofen failed clonazepam what would you do next you will talk him about trying chemo innervation uh, in fact for something like cervical dystonia which often has neck pain associated yes. with it or other muscle tightness the american academy of neurology now recommend as first line treatment with cervical dystonia so here's an example of me doing dystonia head that way injection with emg guidance for cervical dystonia and you will see as i go into the muscle with the emg guidance you will hear the very emg good. signal now push your hand look against at my yourself going try to look that way and push your hand this way and and black muscle very you good. can easily go too deep and and miss very the injection so here for the emg signal there is a call and there that machine gun sound was the emg signal and it goes All away right. as the fluid started Done. how was the tip of the needle as you start injecting the drug into the muscle in focal dystonias besides cervical dystonia many other focal dystonias are also considered first line treatment chemo innervation such as blepharospasm writer's cramp which is a task specific dystonia which is not going to respond to oral therapy anyway it will be a very good option however in segmental or generalized dystonia it becomes less you know likely to be used because how many areas are you going to inject but if there is one or two areas which are extremely bothersome to the patient so for example i have had cases where blepharospasm among the general dystonia was very bothersome we did injection for that i had a patient who was chewing his tongue or biting very often with his jaw dystonia as part of general dystonia you can do injection for that and so on and so forth in primary genetic dystonias usually chemo innervation is not done because it's you need generalized but in idiopathic non genetic focal dystonias or task with dystonia this will be treated for a choice because medication may not work in dystonia due to parkinson's disease they get worse with levodopa or does not respond again a chemo innervation with bufotenoxin will be a treatment of choice how does it work this is a neuromuscular junction with muscle at the bottom with acetylcholine receptors and neuron at the top with acetylcholine filled vesicles the botulinum toxin which has a heavy chain in orange and a light chain in blue binds to these presynaptic acetylcholine receptors gets taken up the heavy chain punches through the vesicle pushes the light chain out which binds to these vesicles to destroy their binding proteins or docking proteins which helps the vesicle fuse and release acetylcholine so it basically blocks acetylcholine release and once acetylcholine release is blocked then that nerve ending is destroyed because the feedback from acetylcholine release is gone and the nerve decides that this is not a useful exon any more or synapse any more and is taken off so when you give the injections the benefit kicks in in a few days as the exons are destroyed and vesicle release is gradually lost and it can take 5 to 7 days for it to kick in then it can take 2 to 4 weeks to reach a full benefit and then there is exon sprouting initially but usually at a new area which is not useful because there is no acetylcholine receptors there and those exon the sprouts are then destroyed another 2 4 weeks later and the re sprouting of the original exon happen in the same muscle junction and that's where you start losing the benefit at 2 months or 2 and a half months and then usually around 2 and a half to 3 months is when the patient needs injections again however if you continue to hold then there will be still continued loss of benefit all the way up to 4 to 6 months or 7 months but usually at 3 months we do the injections again because most of the benefits are gone if you give too much effect and too much exons are lost then you enter the side effects of weakness uh, by losing too much nerve muscle junctions There are multiple types of botulinum toxin in US. The FDA approved toxins are of four different types, and they are not interchangeable because they have various strengths. So, 100 units of Botox, 100 of Zeomin, but 2,500 units of Myoblock, and 500 units of Visport, and they are not interchangeable one to 